Good evening, this is Diparani Hijam giving you the evening news. First, the headlines. Manipur remembers June 18 martyrs who sacrificed their life to protect territorial integrity of the state. People offer floral tributes at Sacred Park. UCM observes the day as the ninth great uprising day, while Amukor remembers the day as the ninth un unity day. Now the news in detail. Manipur today paid rich tributes to the 18 martyrs who sacrificed their life to save the territorial integrity of the state on this day nine years ago. June 18 has become a historic day for Manipur after the people resolved to fight against the government of India's decision to extend ceasefire agreement with NSCM IM to Manipur. <laughs> United Committee Manipur UCM observed the day as the ninth great uprising day at Kekropat where the funeral of all martyrs was held and the memorial stones constructed in their honor. Thousands of people belonging to different communities and the religions took part in the observations and offered flowers to the memorial site since early morning. Speakers on the occasion categorically stated that the time has come for the people to remain united against the violent activities of NSCN IM, FGN, NMC and NSCNK and to work towards peace and the development of the state. Former UCM President Sapamcha Jadumani said this unlawful organization has been collecting at least rupees 6 crores as taxes from vehicles from Manipur, which in turn has resulted in artificial price hikes of all commodities. He also said the people of the state have endured enough and the vehicles must stop using the National Highway 39 until they stop collecting taxes from them. Harikon President Rehang Chote, UCM President Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar, Secretary General W. Second were also among those who spoke on the occasion. Amoko observed the day as the 9th Unity Day at Thao Ground, Thangmaiban. Several prominent persons, including leaders of different communities and the religious groups, and many civil society organizations attended the observations. Speakers emphasized the need to strengthen unity and understanding among all sections of people living in Manipur to fight against divisive forces which are threatening the integrity of the state. They said the divisive forces could not disturb the territorial integrity of Manipur in 2001, but people suffered physically and emotionally. Amuko General Secretary P.H. Devan said the day is being observed to reaffirm the people's determinations to protect and preserve the territorial integrity of Manipur. Those who spoke at the observance included Amuko President K.T. Rahman, L.S. Guite of Am Amesco, Irabot Foundation President Iboyaima, MSF President Muhammad Atabuddin and the Dr. Dhanabir Laishram. Human Rights Initiative, a non-governmental organization based in Imphal, has reported that at least 700 people were killed by armed personnel including army, paramilitary and the state security force during the year 2008 and 2009. In its 260 pages report under the title Human Rights Special Report 2009, which was published jointly with the People's Watch, a human rights organization based in Madurai, the organization gives case accounts and data especially about the alleged extrajudicial execution in Manipur over the last few years. The report focuses more on the case history and the incident occurred during the period 2008 and 2009. Executive Director of the Human Rights Initiative, L.C. Jinai Maite, in his prologue says that the proposal of the report is to extend an endeavor to draw the attention of the authorities and stakeholders concerned by alerting with the contents. Some of the cases alleged to the extrajudicial killing are that of Andhra Sanapat incident of 31st October 2009 at which troops of Assam rifles shot dead seven persons. Even as the paramilitary troops claim the seven persons to have been killed during encounter, the Human Rights Initiative report says two among the deceased Oinam Girani and the Oinam Maipaksana were picked up by the military personnel.